Vaginal Yeast Infection Treatment and Prevention. Do you have vaginal yeast infection or know a woman who does? This video is for you. You will discover the common causes of vaginal thrush, medical treatment, and most importantly, a simple remedy which not only help you get rid of the infection, but also keep your vagina fresh for up to 12 hours. Before I proceed, please support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Your positive interaction signals YouTube to share the video to more viewers. Vaginal yeast infection, also known as candidal vulva vaginitis and vaginal thrush, is excessive growth of yeast in the vagina that results in irritation. Around 75% of women have at least one vaginal yeast infection at some point in their lives, while nearly half have at least two. Around 5% have more than three infections in a single year. It is the second most common cause of vaginal inflammation after bacterial vaginosis. Signs and symptoms of vaginal yeast infection. The symptoms of vaginal thrush include vulval itching, vulval soreness and irritation, pain or discomfort during sexual intercourse, superficial dyspareunia, pain or discomfort during urination, dysuria, and vaginal discharge, which is usually odorous. This can be thin and watery or thick and white, like paper paste or cottage cheese. As well as the above symptoms of thrush, vulva vaginal inflammation can also be present. The signs of vulva vaginal inflammation include erthema, redness of the vagina and vulva, vaginal fissuring, cracked skin, edema, swelling from a buildup of fluid, also in severe cases, satellite lesions, sores in the surrounding area. This is rare, but may indicate the presence of another fungal condition or the herpes simplex virus, the virus that causes genital herpes. Vaginal candidiasis can rarely cause congenital candidiasis in newborns. Causes of vaginal yeast infection. Vaginal yeast infections are due to excessive growth of candida. These yeasts are normally present in the vagina in small numbers. It is not classified as a sexually transmitted infection. However, it may occur more often in those who are frequently sexually active. Risk factors include taking antibiotics, pregnancy, diabetes, and HIV AIDS. Eating a diet high in simple sugar may also play a role. Tight clothing, type of underwear, and personal hygiene do not appear to be factors. Diagnosis is by testing a sample of vaginal discharge. As symptoms are similar to that of sexually transmitted infections, chlamydia and gonorrhea, testing may be recommended. Despite the lack of evidence, wearing cotton underwear and loose fitting clothing is often recommended as a preventive measure. Avoiding douching and scented hygiene products is also recommended. Treatment is with an antifungal medication. This may be either as a cream such as clotromazole or with oral medications such as fluconazole. Probiotics have been found to be useful for active infections. Medications. Infections occur in about 30% of women who are taking a course of antibiotics by mouth. Broad strectum antibiotics help kill healthy bacteria in the vagina, such as lactobacillus. These bacteria normally help to limit yeast colonization. Pregnancy. In pregnancy, higher levels of estrogen make a woman more likely to develop a yeast infection. During pregnancy, the candida fungus is more common and recurrent infection is also more likely. There is tentative evidence that treatment of asymptomatic candidal vulvovaginitis in pregnancy reduces the risk of preterm birth. Lifestyle. While infections may occur without sex, a high frequency of intercourse increases the risk. Personal hygiene methods or tight-fitting clothing such as tights and thong underwear do not appear to increase the risk. Diseases. Those with poorly controlled diabetes have increased rates of infection while those with controlled diabetes do not. The risk of developing thrush is also increased when there is poor immune function as with HIV AIDS or in those receiving chemotherapy. Less common infection types. 
While Candida albicans is the most common yeast species associated with vaginal thrush, infection by other types of yeast can produce similar symptoms. A Hungarian study of 370 patients with confirmed vaginal yeast infections identified the following types of infections. Candida albicans, 85.7%. Non-albicans Canada, H species, 13.2%. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, 0.8%. Candida albicans and Candida glabrata, 0.3%. Non-albicans Candida are often found in complicated cases of vaginal thrush in which the first line treatment is ineffective. These cases are more likely in those who are immunocompromised. Vaginal yeast infection treatment. The following treatments are recommended typically. Intravaginal agents, butanicazole, clotrimazole, myconazole, nystatin, tioconazole, terconazole, candidal vulva vaginitis in pregnancy should be treated with intravaginal clotrimazole or nystatin for at least seven days. All or more are less effective, equally effective. My, by mouth fluconazole as a single dose. For severe diseases, another dose after three days may be used. Short course topical formulations, for example, single dose and regimens of one to three days effectively treat uncomplicated candidal vulvovaginitis. The topical applied azole drugs are more effective than nystatin. Treatment with azoles results in relief of symptoms and negative cultures in 80 to 90% of patients who complete therapy. The creams and suppositories in this regimen are oil-based and might weaken latex condoms and diaphragms. Treatment for vagina thrush using antifungal medication is ineffective in up to 20% of cases. Treatment for thrush is considered to have failed if the symptoms do not clear within seven to 14 days. There are a number of reasons for treatment failure. For example, if the infection is a different kind, such as bacterial vaginosis, the most common of abnormal vaginal discharge rather than thrush. Recurrence. For infrequent recurrence, the simplest and most cost-effective management is self-diagnosis and early initiation of topical therapy. However, women whose conditions have previously been diagnosed with candidal vulvovaginitis are not necessarily more likely to be able to diagnose themselves. Therefore, any women whose symptoms persist after using an over-the-counter preparation or who have recurrence of symptoms within two months should be evaluated with office-based testing. Unnecessary use of topical preparations is common and can lead to a delay in treatment of other causes of vaginitis, which can result in worse outcomes. When there are more than four recurrent episodes of candidal vulvovaginitis per year, a longer initial treatment course is recommended, such as orally administered fluconazole followed by a second and third dose three and six days later, respectively. Other treatments after more than four episodes per year may include 10 days of either oral or topical treatment followed by fluconazole orally once per week for six months. About 10 to 15% of recurrent candidal vulvovaginitis cases are to not Canada albicon species. Non-albicon species tend to have higher levels of resistance to fluconazole. Therefore, recurrence or persistence of symptoms while on treatment indicates speciation and antifungal resistance tests to tailor antifungal treatment. Herbal remedy. A simple home remedy that has been proven to be effective is black seed oil. Here are the simple steps. Clean your hand and vagina. Lie down on your back with your legs slightly bent towards your belly. Use one hand to spread the opening of the vagina. Use the other hand to add three to five drops of raw and pure black seed oil in your vagina. Place a finger inside your vagina and gently massage the walls with the oil for one to three minutes. 
When done, wash your hands thoroughly with warm, soapy water. Alternative medicine. Up to 40% of women seek alternatives to treat vaginal yeast infections. Example products are herbal preparations, probiotics, and vaginal acidifying agents. Other alternative treatment approaches include switching contraceptive treatment of the sexual partner and gentian violet. However, the effectiveness of the treatment has not been received much study. Probiotics. Either as pills or as yogurt do not appear to decrease the rate of occurrence of vaginal yeast infection. No benefit has found, been found for active infections. Example, probiotics purported to treat and prevent candida infections are lactobacillus fermentum, RC-14, lactobacillus fermentum B-54, lactobacillus rhamnosus GR-1, lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, and lactobacillus acidophilus. There is no evidence to support the use of special cleansing diets and colonic hydrotherapy for prevention. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel to support us. Remember to hit the bell icon for notification of new uploads.